Tech Tiger Academy. Welcome guys. I'm Ravi Malhotra, your instructor for this entire series. This is lecture number 14 and this lecture will talk about ICA uh, as well as you know ICA management tool. So, um, so one of the most important topic you know when you try to understand security uh, is of course certificates just because the certificates are used for authentication purposes right they help a lot in confidentiality as well as integrity uh, objectives in security so let us just first understand you know what is the role of ICA what is ICA why it is used and you know like where it is used and how can we configure that and all that so ICA is uh, ICA stands for internal certificate authority it's a certificate authority right being a certificate authority it's responsible to uh, to generate certificates to maintain certificates as well as to revocate certificates ICA is an integral part of the checkpoint product suite ICA is fully compliant with x.509 standards for both certificates as well as CRLs just try to recall the topic of the three tier architecture in that we have one smart center server we have a firewall you establish a trust between them this trust is called SIC this SIC is basically certificate based trust when I say SIC it's a certificate based trust okay and this certificate is generated by the ICA so ICA is fully compliant with X.509. X.509 is a language, is a standard for certificates. ICA is actually located on the security management server itself. On the security management server, there is an HTTP server, which is actually a certificate authority server. And this ICA server is created during the installation process of the security management server. ICA basically issues certificates for authentication. That's the main purpose of certificates. So here in the SIG process, what we are trying to do, uh, we are trying to authenticate firewall to the management server as well as vice versa. Okay. Till the time the certificate is valid, uh, management server uh, will keep trusting the security gateway. But the moment the certificate is not valid, or maybe maybe the trust is broken that certificate will not be of any use right so that certificate will be revoked and then then we will have to rebuild the trust once we rebuild the trust new certificate will be issued right need for the ICA so why do we need ICA we need ICA to enable SIC between internal checkpoint components that means between security management server and firewall as well as between uh, security management server primary plus security management server secondary and this is also used to issue certificates to users as well as to VPN gateways if you want to create a site-to-site -site VPN tunnel between two gateways and you want these gateways to authenticate each other using certificates instead of pre-shared key so then you can use the certificates and you want to create certificates for users so that you know they will authenticate using the certificates when trying to log in as a VPN user so this is how you use them the ICA also issues certificate revocation list certificate revocation list is just a list where all the all the certificates which are of no longer use uh, are enlisted there the CRLs are published on the HTTP server running on the security management server and CRL can be retrieved by any gateway for certificate validation right so that's all ICA stand for certificate authority it resides on the security management server it is created during installation of security management server its main job is to issue certificates the certificates are used uh, in the SIG process as well as by VPN gateways as well as users to create a trust next we'll talk about the different clients of the ICA in different clients of the ICA 
the ICA related functions can be performed using the following clients uh, the checkpoint configuration tool or CP config on the command line using CP config ICA is created and a six certificate is also issued for security management server that's the that's the first thing let me just show you live to that you know uh, I am logged into uh, my security management server right uh, I am just doing CP config the moment you press number six which stands for certificate authority it says that configuring certificate authority the internal CA isn't initialized with the following name okay uh, the second client is the smart dashboard the smart console is used to manage six certificates that's true this is how we establish six between gateway and the smart center certificate uh, VPN certificates this is all I'm going to show you uh, in those respective labs right and the other is the user certificates managed in the internal database um, the third client to manage ICA is the ICA management tool that's uh, that's the wonderful tool by which you can manage ICA uh, it's a kind of uh, dashboard to be able to manage certificate authority it is disabled by default uh, with ICA management tool you can manage certificates you can run searches you can recreate CRLs you can configure the ICA and you can remove expired certificates that's all you can do uh, with the help of the ICA management tools so this is uh, we have learned about the three different ways um, you can manage certificate one is the CP config two is the smart dashboard and third is the ICA management tool let me move to the next slide now ICA management tool that's very important guys the first thing that you always need to remember is that this is disabled by default ICA management tool works on port number TCP 18265 okay uh, with the help of ICA management tool it's a kind of a browser based tool you can you can run searches you can recreate CRLs you can configure ICA uh, and then you can remove expired certificates the ICA management tool supports TLS and ICA and it's fully compliant to X node 509 okay uh, as I said that this is disabled by default so that means you will not be able to connect to the ICA management tool that easily you have to do a couple of operations before you are able to access that uh, just please follow my next video in that I'm just going to show you live how you how you configure the ICA management tool but uh, in order to connect to the ICA management tool this is what you do you do HTTPS the management IP address then port number 18265 you need to create an administrator with a certificate store the certificate in a desktop as in .p.12 file install and import the certificate as the personal folder access the security management server in export mode enable the ICA management tool with the administrator CN Indian then connect to the ICA management tool over a browser and now you can do all various operations related to certificates such as searching create recreate configure and remove okay these this is how you enable it this is how you configure it right uh, but then uh, just follow my next lab I'm just going to show you how does it look like uh, when when we are able to connect to the ICA management tool so I'm just going to give HTTPS my my management server IP address now so it is 192 168.200.50 hit enter let me let me check if it is running or not expert mode algorithm 
expert mode i'll give a command cpca underscore client set underscore management underscore tool print it says uh, this is own this is using ssl okay the management tool is on using ssl it is uh, this authorized user so uh, in my lex lab right i'm just going to show you how does it look like but let me let me do some operations now let me see if i'm able to ping 200.1 yes i can ping that uh, let me try to ping telnet localhost 18265 connected to connected to localhost all right so so basically it was just asking for you know which which certificate you want to say so i have created ica admin this is something i'm going to show you in my next lab so the moment i click okay this is how the ica tool looks like you can do searches you can create certificates you can configure you can manage the crls and the moment you click on search you will be able to see so many certificates over here the certificates uh, for the gateway right um, the certificates for the management server okay certificates for different users like cp management um, cp admin and then uh, certificate for IC admin so this is how the ICA management tool looks like so that's all guys that was the purpose of this lecture and this lecture is done uh, next is going to be the real lab where I'm going to show you how you configure the ICA right so just uh, so just please follow the next lab uh, so please guys subscribe my channel uh, please you know um, uh, so view these videos and you know forward uh, those links to all your friends so that they can also take advantage of this learning uh, that's all guys have a wonderful day goodbye